Jeffrey, that was an amazing call with the couple. I mean, what did you think? I mean, they, they look like they're having fun driving across the country to me. <laughs> wow. Craig and Tracy was, they're just an awesome couple. They were married for 25 years, still in love. I mean, they just sold their house in LA. They were just tired of the cost of living. The great thing is that they were remote, remote workers, attorney, engineer, come on. Successful people, obviously, but just getting in their motor home and looking for their dream land, dream place, building a home. Wow, that is beautiful. What That is the American dream. Just takes guts to do what they do. I'm very happy and proud of them and their, their family and their children. What lucky uh, children they are to have parents that have guts to do it. I'm really happy for them. Yeah, exactly. So here is the full interview. Check it out. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Here it is. Welcome, uh, everybody. And today we have Tracy and Craig here. And um, uh, Tracy, Craig, can you please tell the audience who you are, where you're from, and what you guys do for a living? Sure. Uh, we're Craig and Tracy Springford. Uh, well, I guess officially we are still from... Uh, Murrieta Wildemar, California, because we're using our daughter's address. But we recently sold our home in Murrieta, California, and we purchased a motor home. And we're, we're we're in Ohio right now, and we're planning to move to South Carolina, one of the lake areas, either like Lake Murray or Lake Kiwi, or even maybe Lake Greenwood. So we're, we're looking for a rural area, not so crowded, lower taxes. Uh, uh, more money for your more home for your money. Uh, as far as what do we do? Um, I work in sales. I have an engineering background and I sell uh, engineered products and Tracy, you can tell them what you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I do a couple of things. I am a contract attorney and I do work for my husband's company actually. And um, I also started and own and operate a graphic shirt business. So I do that on the road. Um, we pull a trailer behind our motor home and I have my business in that. So that's kind of what we do. Yep. Wow. That is really exciting. I mean, I love that you just sold your house, jumped in a motor home and going across America. And yeah. that is beautiful. I, I think um, it takes a lot of guts, but a lot of vision and um, really happy for you guys. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Well, yeah, for sure. So exactly what made you leave California? Um, a, a host of things. <laughs> yeah. Where would you like to begin? Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess we, the, re the reason why you're leaving California. I mean, the yeah, host um, of things sounds great. It's <laughs> expensive. The taxes are high. Uh, we don't agree with the politics. There's a lot of people, way too many people. Uh, there's probably some more things if I think about it. Yeah. Our, our kids, um, our youngest daughter graduated high school in June. And our kids go to college out of state because we didn't want them in state having to deal with the vaccine mandate. So they are both in college at a private college in Arizona and Phoenix. And um, so we, you know, economically, we would like to retire, you know, in the next 10 years or less, hopefully, but we knew we couldn't do that from California and still maintain our acquired lifestyle of travel and all of that. So, um, you know, those couple things together sure, um, kind of pushed us to look outside of where we had been. And realizing that we could get, uh, you know, sell our house in California and then basically almost pay cash for a right. house for a elsewhere, new one. For, for a, a new, new house, <laughs> um, really, really made us really think harder about it, you know. And so, like you said, we just sort of took a leap of faith and did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's a really, again, that's really exciting. I, I love the fact that you guys went ahead and did it and you guys doing everything remote. I mean, of course, all of us mm -hmm. still has to work and, but just sure. doing it. And how does your um, children feel about the move? I mean, they're young, you know, 
they have open minds and leaving California must be a little bit tough for them. Mm, well, they're not leaving. Yeah, well, yeah. okay, so we have an yeah. adult daughter who is married and has been married for 10 years, and they live near where we did in California. So they're there. Their kids are in school, and um, they do have a desire to also leave, but they have to wait until their oldest daughter graduates high school in three years, and then they have younger kids too, but they could trans, you know, they could move them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then our our middle or our youngest youngest two kids – they are in college out of state. Um, our youngest daughter has kind of struggled with it a little bit because unfortunately she did her whole high school career during the pandemic. Um, um. So she graduated as a junior. So she graduated a year early, but it, the pandemic hit her freshman year and then she didn't go to school at all her sophomore year. And then her junior or what became her senior year Half of it was spent in a mask. And so she kind of just found her people um, like the last half of high school. And so and then through the summer, she really bonded a lot with friends and it was really hard for her. But she was leaving for college anyways. Um, But she is I'd say she probably uh, most has struggled knowing that coming home from college is not going to look like what it did look like before. Because essentially her home is now not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so that has been hard for her. I think she's really the only one who oh, really yeah. has struggled at all with it. Our son has a girlfriend. And, and he know. lives permanently in Arizona now. Yeah. So th- he has his own house there. So for him, it was fine. Right. They're comfortable together. Yeah. So That's it was really amazing. just her. Okay. Um, I, I heard you say that the vaccine mandates was something that you know, you and your family did not agree with. Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about your thoughts and the direction of those thoughts? Um, First, I just like to always say that we're not anti-vaxxers. Our kids are all vaccinated. We've, you know, as a matter of fact, my husband, Craig, is is vaccinated. I got the COVID COVID vaccine. vaccine. I got two of them and I got COVID twice. And the only reason why I did it was is because I tr- I fly a lot in my job. And I when it first came out, I was a little concerned that they were going to tell people they couldn't get on airplanes without this this vaccine card, which I have. So knowing what I know now, I probably wouldn't have got any of the vaccines because, like I said, I got sick twice. And so I feel like those shots really didn't do me. All they did was maybe... I guess if you believe it, maybe they lessened the blow a little bit as far as the COVID was concerned. So it it could have been a lot worse, maybe, but I still got it. Um, I always tell people, imagine if somebody got four polio shots and still got polio. (laughs) It just doesn't happen, right? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So our, our children, we did not want to have vaccinated. And so... I know like when we were looking at colleges for both of our kids, mainly for our daughter, because she was more in the brunt of it. um, uh, Several reasons why we don't want her vaccinated. She she's 18 and she's also decided herself that she doesn't want to be vaccinated. She's never had kids. We've had worries about reproductive health and all kinds of other things. Um, We all as a family have had COVID twice um, as a family, six months apart. We've, we've got it twice all of us, including the kids. And thank God we were all good. You know, um, we came through it fine. But um, so with that mandate of not being able to take in-person classes in college, so that really pushed us to have them look outside of California for college. Yeah, well, so, Thanks for sharing that. That's um, sure. myself. My daughter has a few, same feeling. She's 22. She uh, decided not to get vaccinated, but then, of course, she's traveling out of the country as a missionary. So mm. the other countries forced her to uh, get shots, and she, right. she went ahead. And, so. Yep. Anyway, yeah. But thank you for sharing that. Yeah, we just believe it's each person's belief. Whatever you want to do is fine. We don't mm-hmm. care. You know, I'm not going to tell somebody else what to do. Yeah. Right. Uh, so <laughs> since you guys are going, you're in Ohio right now, and you guys are going towards southern uh, South Carolina. I owned mm-hmm. property in North Carolina at one time. Mm. Where Where is your final destination? Uh, we think there's two areas that we're looking at. So we're going to leave here after Thanksgiving and head down to South Carolina. Um, we're okay. spending time with family up here right now. Um, but when we go, we had already took a 
exploratory trip last year, right? Yeah. About a year and a half ago. Yeah. And we were looking at um, west of the Columbia area oh, um, okay. by Lake Murray. And so we did a lot of prospecting there. We found some property um, that we were interested in to, to possibly build. Um, but then we kind of had done more research and found a couple other areas. So basically our trip when we leave here, the beginning of December, end of November is going to be to look at some alternative areas, possibly just south of Asheville, North Carolina. Greenville um, area. Greenville area. Yeah. Um, and around that area. So we want to check that out before we make a final decision because we do, we would like to build. And so we want to just make sure that we're making the right decision. Right. Well, that, that's exciting. And you have the luxury to travel, go around for a while, not make uh, a decision and, and really think about it. Right. That's so awesome. That's yeah. so exciting, yeah. actually. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only, only people dream about uh, what you guys are doing so yeah kudos to you we've we've met so many people though oh my gosh across the country very nice people so awesome people but a lot of people are doing what we're doing mm -hmm. you know like they're yeah. they're picking up and they're leaving and they're in an rv and they're either going to do it full time mm -hmm. or they're doing it temporarily and gonna build or buy as well but yeah we've met lots of people mm -hmm. doing the same thing isn't it beautiful across America? I mean, there's so many gorgeous, lush places. Oh, oh there, there are. There yeah. Really yeah. We've seen now Craig has been to every state. He's very lucky. Oh. He's been to every state, including Alaska, Guam, Puerto Rico and Hawaii. <laughs> so he's checked them all off his list. I have not been to all of them. So we were in some places that I've never been before that were really cool. So we spent some time in Branson, Missouri, which was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just a lot of beautiful areas. Did. Well, that's great. Well, I have one final question for you guys. What sure. advice would you give to somebody who is looking to leave California, but maybe are maybe are too afraid to do so? Do your homework for starters. Um, you know, look at some places online. Uh, go visit some places. You know, go see some areas that you're interested, see if it works out for you. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take that leap. I mean, if you don't have anything holding you back, if your job will allow you to go, if your family allows you to go, then you don't really have anything holding you holding you back. So uh, take a leap of faith and do it. Yeah, I, I would just I would just add to that that it's scary for the unknown. I know I, I belong to a couple of facebook groups that are people wanting to leave california or have left and the biggest question we i get or i see on there is like how did you do it like it's so scary and and it is anything new is scary but i think if you're bettering your lifestyle and it's going to be a positive thing then sure. just sure. do it you know like yeah. we only live once you know just take that leap of faith and do it absolutely follow your heart yeah yeah, that, that's really good advice. I mean, a lot of the folks that Jess and I spoke with, they're very happy, very excited. Another chapter in their life and super mm -hmm. excited. I mean, who wouldn't be excited if someone could buy a house cash and still have hundreds of thousand dollars left over? Because, you know, in California, the, the real estate is, um, you know, sometimes you get a pretty good uh, return. Yeah. Uh, yep. Which is our situation. So it's really, it is really exciting. And change is hard, but it's good. And I think it helps, especially with families grow together or couples. You know, we've been married for almost 25 years, mm -hmm. but, and we have actually relocated twice before. Big, big relocations as a family. Even when our kids were little, we've done right. it. So, so it's, it never was a leaf of, this yeah. was never a leap of faith for us. For us, we just knew that this, right. once we made the decision, it was what we needed to do. So it was easy for us, but it's not for everybody. So yeah. well, just do thank it. You. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, sharing all your insights and your experience sure. and wisdom. It's, I think it's really important for the audience to just hear it um, over and over to give them the confidence. And, you know, I feel for the people that are in California and cannot make that decision. And so thank you again for everything. Yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks for doing this. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.